Good afternoon. This is Trent Miller. And I'm Jasmine. Stop. We have breaking news. Out in the field, we have Britt Blomza with Roger Levet. Thanks, guys. So now I'm here with Roger. Roger, what was the final score of the Stanford UCLA game in the NCAA final in 2002? In 2002, <laughs> we lost 1 0. We gave up a goal. So I played for Stanford, called Chalk for Stanford. We gave up a goal in the 87th minute, um, ended up losing 1 0 that year. Uh, that's really rough. It was actually the third time they had beaten us that season, so um, it was okay. I think they were the better team. Yeah. <laughs> um, what was the highlight of your Sounders career? Highlight of my Sounders career? I think um, for me it was all my teammates. Um, you know, uh, played for the Sounders for nine years um, and with a lot of different guys. Uh, and, you know, all the people that were involved in all those teams um, have a special place in my heart. And I think that extends to the organization and then even to uh, the fans at this point as well. Awesome. So what was your, um, what would you eat afterwards to recover? Uh, generally Reese's peanut butter cups. Really uh, just a big sweet tooth. So I would get one of those king size Reese's peanut butter cup and then that's what I would eat. Um, Ethan, do you want to help us out here? Roger, Roger, Roger. Close, but I have some stuff to add on to what you have to say. Starving athletes after a hard workout would do great to have some pita bread with hummus or some turkey, crackers with cheese and grapes, even bagel with cream cheese. These are all great protein examples of what to eat after a game. Hey Ethan, it's Peyton here from Eastern Washington and I have a couple of key facts to add. Foods high in proteins are important because it helps to build strong bones and muscles so that you can be faster and better with the sport that you play. Protein is harder to store in your body, so just pretend that your body is a shopping cart and try to fill at least one third of it with protein. For example, the meal before your game, you could buy a turkey or chicken breast, pork, or even a tuna sandwich. But what if your game is in the morning? No problem. Just load up on scrambled eggs, yogurt, and milk. About an hour before your game, a protein bar would be the perfect amount of energy that you will need. Now, back to you guys in the studio. Good to know. What are you wearing? I'm all suited up to go in the field. No, Britt's out in the field reporting. Oh, I thought we were going to go to the game. Back to you, Britt. Let's try this again. So, Roger, what was your celebration after each goal? Um, <laughs> actually, the only soccer player to be best known for creativity and goal celebrations. Um, so I think my favorite was the scuba dive. It's, it's the one that people, I think, relate to the most. So what would you do when you did the scuba dive? Um, I would find something probably not this high, you know, a board and fall over. Um, you know, my, plug my nose, make sure I don't get any water up it. <laughs> So, um, how would you hydrate before and after games? Uh, hydration, very, very important. Uh, would get a, a case of soda uh, and drink half of it before and then half of it afterwards. Sorry, that's, that's not exactly what we were looking for, man. <laughs> <laughs> Ethan, do you want to help us out one last time? Ethan, what's, what's wrong with soda? <laughs> Raji, Raji, Raji. I don't even know where to begin. It's called the sipping strategy for one. It's two to four ounces of sports drinks every 10 to 15 minutes up until your activity or event. Hey, it's Abby and I'm here to inform you about the importance of staying hydrated. Water makes up nearly half your body weight, so it's important to maintain that. Some signs that show dehydration are Headache, when you're thirsty, dry mouth, and the sensitive to and being sensitive to light. One of the best ways to check if you're drinking enough water is by checking the color of your pee. If it's clear, that means you're not dehydrated, and if you if it's dark yellow, that means you are dehydrated. Every day, you should drink half your body weight. For example, 80 pounds, 40 ounces, 70 pounds, 35 ounces, and 100 pounds, 50 ounces, and the list could go on. Also, Gatorade is very important. They have electrolytes that will help you perform, prepare for a game coming up. About an hour before, drink two to four ounces of Gatorade every 15 minutes, which means that right here, until your game starts. To make sure you're drinking enough, just mark your water bottle. 
Remember that if you drink lots of water, you will perform better. Now back to you guys in the studio. It's nearing the end of the show. Now it's time for a wrapping rapid refresh. Hydrate, hydrate, make sure you hydrate. Water break, water break, make sure you hydrate. Protein, protein, fuel for your game. Sunscreen, sunscreen, make sure you don't burn. Word. And there you have it. I'm Trent. And I'm Jasmine, and this is Washington Youth Soccer News. You stay classy, Washington. She's like, guys, make sure you like research about Roger. And I was like, I like saw that. I was like, oh, he lost the UCLA. <laughs> I was like, that's gold. I was like, I'm mad. Yeah, that's where Ethan wants to go to school. Nobody said that. <laughs> that was great. Ready? <laughs>